Grand Ole Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I express appreciation for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial statue called Three Fighting Men. November 11th, 1984, President Ronald Reagan keynoted dedication ceremonies for that classic monument adjacent to the wall. The memorial reflects as a mirror reflects, so that when you find the name you're searching for, you find it in your own reflection. And as you touch it from certain angles, you're touching too the reflection of the Washington Monument or the chair in which great Abraham Lincoln sits. The fighting men depicted in the statue we dedicate today, the three young American servicemen, are individual only in terms of their battle dress. All are as one, with eyes fixed upon the memorial bearing the names of their brothers in arms. On their youthful faces, faces too young to have experienced war, we see expressions of loneliness and profound love and a fierce determination never to forget. Today we pay homage not only to those who gave their lives, but to their comrades present today and all across the country. You didn't forget. You kept the faith. You walked from the litter, wiped away your tears, and returned to the battle. You fought on, sustained by one another and deaf to the voices of those who didn't comprehend. You perform with the steadfastness and valor that veterans of other wars salute, and you are forever in the ranks of that special number of Americans in every generation that the nation records as true patriots. And now I shall sign the document by which this memorial has been gratefully received by our government. And now it belongs to all of us, just as those men who have come back belong to all of us. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandolpartisan.com.